Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and this video is gonna be all about water washable resins. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons about using water washable resins, and this video is really meant for people just getting started in resin 3D printing or thinking about getting started, and maybe you've heard about water washable resin and you think that could be the best option for you when it comes to making your prints. So first, what is water washable resin? What's the difference between it and other resins? Well, the biggest difference is just in the name. As opposed to needing some type of cleaning solution like isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol or ethanol or mean green or some kind of resin detergent or any other way that you can clean resin 3D prints, with water washable resin, you don't need to use any of that. You can just use ordinary water, water that you get straight from your tap. Now, an advantage of doing that is that it can save you money in the short term and the long term because you don't have to go out to the store to buy these different chemicals, which will eventually get kind of dirty and you'll have to replace them, which means that you'll be spending more money later down the line. With water washable resin, you just have to get more water and then you'll be done. So it saves you money in that way. And another advantage of using water washable resins in some cases has to deal with the smell. Now, all resins are gonna smell like something, but water washable resins tend to be a little less pungent than regular resins. And if you're not going to be wearing a respirator, then maybe you'll be a little bit more comfortable around water washable resin because it won't stink as much. But if you do wear a respirator, none of it matters because you won't smell anything anyway. Another potential factor in getting water washable resins instead of regular resins has to deal with the flammable nature of some of those chemicals. Like alcohol is flammable and some of the other chemicals that you may use to clean prints can be flammable as well but water isn't. So if that is a concern for you, then water washable resin becomes an even more attractive option for you. So those are some pretty significant and very understandable pros to using water washable resins, but like all things in life, there are some downsides to it as well. For example, depending on what you're trying to print and what you are gonna be using those prints for, water washable resins have a reputation of being a little bit more brittle than normal resins. So if you're gonna be printing things like miniatures that have thin parts, things that can break off easily, if you're just gonna be handling whatever that you print pretty frequently, and there's a chance that you might drop it, knock it into something, you know, things like that, then water washable resins may not be the way to go just as far as the strength is concerned. Now that's most water washable resins. However, there are some water washable resins that are tough. In fact, I've reviewed one of them from a company called Nova 3D. Uh, they had a water washable mecha tough resin that I checked out. You can check a look at that video if you like. And through my test, I found that it was pretty good at making sure that my miniatures were more impact resistant than they would be if they were printed with a non tough resin. So there's still an option for you to get a more tougher version of water washable resin if you're interested, but as far as just your standard water washable resins, they can be a little bit more brittle. Another potential disadvantage is if you're working with hollowed prints. Now hollow prints are always really tricky because you have to make sure that whatever cleaning solution you're using gets into the cavities of the inside of that model and cleans that resin out completely. Because if you don't, over time, that resin will find its way out and it could result in your model just breaking apart, cracking in half, and that resin just spilling on whatever surface that model happens to be lying on. So you need to make sure that the insides are nice and clean. When it comes to something like water, even though it cleans the resin, it doesn't clean it, in my opinion, as effectively as something like IPA would. So you have to be a little bit extra careful when you're working with hollow prints just to make sure you got all of that resin out of there. So it's a little bit more risky when you're dealing with hollow prints with water washable resin as opposed to using alcohol. You still have to be careful no matter what type of cleaning solution that you use, but with water, it gets a little bit more iffy. But for me, the 
biggest disadvantage of using water washable resin is the disposal process. Because just like any other resin contaminated liquid, you have to dispose of it properly. The advantage of something like IPA is that it evaporates a lot more quickly than water does. And you can typically just take it outside, let it sit in the sun, and that resin is going to separate, it's going to cure, and then it becomes solid waste that you can get rid of. And then the excess IPA that may be floating on the top, you could reuse. So you can do a little bit of recycling for yourself. But when it comes to water, water evaporates a lot more slowly, especially in the colder months where the sun is not as intense, the weather is not as hot, the humidity is not as high. So if you're planning on setting it outside so that it can evaporate and cure that way, you could be waiting a very, very, very long time for that to happen. Now, if you have a a waste disposal facility near you that will accept that kind of household contaminated uh, liquid, then that won't be a problem. You can just take it into them and they'll take care of it for you. But if you don't have that option, just know that when your water gets to the point where you need to get rid of it because it's become too dirty, the disposal process could take quite a long time. So you need to make sure that it's somewhere where it can still do its thing in the sun, but it won't be disturbed by people. And if it starts to rain, that rainwater won't get into the uh, bucket or the container that you have it in and then cause it to overflow because then you have that resin contaminated water soaking into the ground. And that's the very thing that we're all trying to avoid. So just kind of keep that in mind. Disposal is by far the worst part about water washable resins if you don't have a facility that you can take it to. But everything else that I mentioned from the cleaning process and making sure that the hollow prints are really thoroughly cleaned out to the disposal process to the potential brittleness of the water washable resins, those are the biggest cons to me. So as long as you kind of have that in mind and you weigh your pros and cons and your risk and your rewards after knowing all this, I think that you should be able to tell whether or not you want to go the water washable route or if you would just want to stick with IPA just so that can be a little bit easier for you in the long run. And if you are sensitive to IPA as far as the smell goes, then in that case, it may be better to just to buy a respirator and that way you won't smell it at all and that's something that you won't have to deal with. So that's pretty much the difference between water washable resins and non water washable resins. And I do want to thank you for checking out this video and I hope I was able to answer some questions that you might have had. But if you want to see more stuff like this related to resin 3D printing and whatnot, action figures and what have you, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check back because I always have more coming. So until then, take care of yourselves. I'll speak to you soon.